What is up guys, it's Mike Jabomo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to the secondary playthrough of Gothic 2. Wow, the third playthrough of Gothic 2, the path of Balear. In this particular episode we're gonna do the long part of Corinus, which is all Corinus quests. This video will be, probably be split it in about two to three parts, depending on all the quests, etc. And uh, since I, in the last episode, fucked it up to give Greg this, um, this farmer's outfit, I will use this opportunity to enter Corinus as a farmer who wants to go to Herod the Smith, so that in the hardcore run I can use the... Um, herb gatherer to enter the city of Corinna so without further ado guys let's begin Corinna's Halt! Are you one of the hands on Lobart's farm? I never seen you here. I haven't been with Lobart for long. What you want in the city? I want to see the blacksmith to have some tools repaired. Okay, fine. In you go then. And if you see Lobart, you can tell him he should feed his sheep well. We're coming back to him shortly. <laughs> I don't believe this is going to change. Halt, stranger. I, really believe I am Lothar, paladin of the king and it humble servant problem. of Innos, your lord. Really Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply Don't to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this so town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. You hardly know who to believe these days. I have an important message for the leader of the Paladins. Yeah, the Honorable Lord Hagen is not receiving not anyone. You anything new. Lord Andre, the commander of the city guard, is responsible for all issues pertaining to the common folk. You listen to the wrong people. Listen, the city is threatened by dragons. That can't be true. Another a lunatic. Time. We have enough unrest in the city as it is. It and without insane. some dimwit scaring people with fairy tales about dragons, I immediately locked up the last person who was here so telling dragon tales and sent him to the Valley of Mines with the prison transport. Never thought of that so itself. mind your tongue. We can't use anyone here who spreads panic among here. the people. Somebody already reported the dragons here? Yes. The fellow's name was Diego. I think so, in any case. I warned him just like you. But the lunatic just wouldn't stop getting on my nerves. Because he isn't the lunatic, he told you the he truth, like you that. stupid Lothar. I have come to get the Eye of Innos. The Sacred Eye of Innos? Really? How, How do you know about that? You're not a member of the Order. A magician told me about it. I don't know what his motives were when he entrusted one of the secrets of our order to you. But he certainly didn't mean for you to get your fingers on it. But I don't want to hear any more about it. First you start with fairy tales about dragons, and then this. Incredible. But that's terrible. The townspeople are simply disappearing? Yes, it seems to be more every day. It's most annoying that the really? militia have still not been able to discover what's behind these strange occurrences. Small wonder that the here. town's inhabitants are very wary of strangers right now. Who says things like so that? don't provoke them when you're in town, understood? Don't say you didn't know that. All right, explain it's the rules right, of the city to me. First, the Honorable the Paladin wins. Lord Hagen resides in the Upper Quarter along with his if troops. With that is why access to the upper quarter is allowed only to honorable citizens. Second, he the town see. hall in the upper quarter is now the command post of the paladins. Only the paladins eyes. themselves and members of the militia have access to Honestly, it. And himself. third, whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the commander of the militia. Any questions? That's not what I heard. How do I become a citizen of the town? Only those with regular jobs will be considered citizens of the town. But don't think that you'll be admitted to Lord Hagen just because you're a citizen of the town. As a citizen, you have access to the upper quarter, nothing more. 
Only as a member of the militia will you have access to the town hall. Really? As well as adjoining the mercenaries or the novices fire mages. Where can I find work? You'll have to apply as an apprentice to one of the masters here in the lower part of the city. As soon as a master accepts you, you are a citizen of the town. However, the other masters must agree to it. That's the custom here in Corinus. If you were thinking about looking for work in the Harbor District, forget it. We can only wait. The scum of the city live there. Don't even go there. You would regret it. Get so worked up. I've got to go. That's what I If I hear one more time that you are telling people here about dragons, you will be in big trouble. Do I make myself clear? Like I don't give this a forever. fuck about your threats, Lothar. That's you not can what I heard. shove those into your backside because I really honestly don't give that. a fuck about them. Because That's not what my it's the truth. I can't believe that. Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Uh, what brings you to Corinus? So I need to get into the upper quarter. Where the paladins are? Forget it. You need to be a respected citizen here, or at least hold a decent job. As a stranger, you stand no chance of getting in. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. Why did your apprentice give up his job? All he said was that it had become too dangerous out there. If you're really interested, then you can ask him yourself. His name is Bartok. He's probably hanging out near Corrigan's Tavern. Go through the underpass from the smithy, then you're headed straight for it. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay you. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. Now, just like any uh, Gothic 2 playthrough, each individual path has a, a certain individual different choice. When it comes to the apprentices in, um, in Corinna's, as a servant of Adenals, a mercenary dragon hunter, I will become a MA apprentice of Bosper. As a servant of Enos, the paladin, I will be a servant of um, Herod the Smith. And with this one in particular, which is going to be the mage, I'm going to be the servant of Constantino the Alchemist. And the same is with the captains. Each side have a different captain. Enos has Jack. Adonos has uh, Torlef, and uh, this one will have Jurgen. So each side has, you know, different different sides and different apprenticeships. Because of the fact that I'm doing three playthroughs, I might as well check all, you know, apprenticeships just to make sure that all has been done. I want to start as your apprentice. Before I take you on, I need to know, of course, whether you're any good at all. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Or... Uh, you can start with one of the other masters, if that's what you really want. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. Show me your wares. I can't believe that. I agree with you. 
you completely. My mouse sensitivity is a bit high, but that's that's all the better. And let me punch you some Ringus, also known as hey. apples. Hello, stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you Don't in my wares. You know that. What do you have to offer? At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough to meet the demands of the city. That doesn't surprise Show me your wares. They can't go on like this forever. I was actually on my way to see the paladins. There's little chance of that. Since the paladins made themselves at home in the upper end of town, hardly anyone gets in there anymore. That's been known a long time. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? Nobody me? No. Nah. I don't have much say here myself. What's there are a few heard? people in the lower city who have enough influence to get you past the guards. No, no, Mateo, my see. boss, is one of them. Maybe you should talk to him. That was obvious all along. Where can I find Mateo? You're standing right outside no, his no shop. Just is. go on in. He's practically always there. Nothing surprises me anymore. What about the other influential citizens? The merchants and master craftsmen here on the main street are the most important figures in the that. city. You should try to get accepted by one of them as an apprentice Can't like me. me. Since I started working for Mateo, the people in the city treat me with respect. I need some money, and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. His shop is right over there. They say he pays pretty well. Tell me more about the Peasants' Revolt. It's quite simple. Onar, the fat landowner, won't pay any more taxes to the city. Imagine, we're at war with the orcs, and that fat slob wants everything for himself. Normally, the city guard would take firm measures in such cases, but now comes the best part. They say Onar has hired mercenaries to keep the troops from the city off his back. Mercenaries! The whole thing will end in a damn war. As if one war weren't enough. What do you know about Onar's mercenaries? I heard that most of them are former convicts from the mining colony. And their leader's supposed to have been a big shot with the king, a general or something, whom they put away as a traitor. These are terrible times. But no, he insists. You don't say, my friend. Now, there, are, there is an armor that you can purchase here. I will purchase it, but uh, the only reason why I will purchase it so that that option has been done as well. But uh, you can get it for free. There are two basic ways, well, there are multiple ones, but uh, that depends. I will explain them all to you. One of them is uh, getting a joining the city guards and walk to him as a member of the militia that will allow you to pass him. Or as a fire you mage, really you can that. also pass him, as far as I know at any rate. But uh, you could also use a sleep spell on him, or get entire free by climbing on the wall, jumping on the roof, and then enter there. I will go. I will do that. But first, I will purchase he doesn't see that. the armor, so that that option is done as well. It's going to be a bit of waste of my gold, but you know this guy will have plenty. What can I do for you? What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather, still unused. Interested? All right, give me the armor. You'll love it. Now, like I said, you can get it for free, but I just do it so that this option, the buying option, whether you do it at Orleans Tavern or here, the buy option has been done, you know. And uh, since this guy is going to be very, very rich and very, very powerful because he's going to use the Claw of Balear, this guy is going to be OP, guys. So uh, gold is a little of his concern since praying at Balear gives you gold. What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards have come to the city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday, the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. The paladin seized your goods? Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. 
Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? I don't see why I should even try. You're probably right. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. So can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But it'll cost you. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. You shark. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But... In principle, it's my gold. Gritta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Help one. Where could I sign on as an apprentice then? Basically, with any master here on the main street. That would be Harrod the Smith, Bosper the Bowmaker, Thorben the Carpenter, or Constantino the Alchemist. One of them is bound to take you on. But it's important that the other masters agree. That's always been the custom here in Corinus. How do I get the approval of the other masters? You just have to convince them. Go and talk to them. But if more than one of them is against you, you don't stand a chance. So behave yourself. Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would, but the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Is there another way to get into the upper quarter? Perhaps. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Joining a particular faction. Either the city guards, the mercenaries, or the uh, fire mages. Because uh, as a citizen of Corinus, yes, you will be able to get to the upper quarters, but no, not to Lord Hagen. And uh, since you have to speak Lord to Lord Hagen about the whole Eye of Enos thing, you need to be actually join a faction before you are allowed to do so, but that's fine. Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. Now since this guy is gonna be a mage, instead of one-handed weapons, he will go actually to two-handed weapons. Because of the fact he's gonna wear a staff. And uh, he's mostly gonna use magical capabilities. Especially late game like summoning skeleton, summoning demon, etc. You know, whatever runes I can create. Army of Darkness is one of them. But, um... I'm no better what else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. But he knew that all Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He, works he often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not oh, usually a violent person, 
But that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow that just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. Oh, and Bosper did. right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! To the wrong people. But the thief was too fast. I'm in I see. trouble as it is. Has anything exciting happened? Oh well, all's quiet. I suppose that when the orcs come, you can't fail to notice. There's nothing you can do about it. I see. Well, let's talk with Thorben. Now, this is this guy so is, of up. course, the Sir of the Baliar. His main no priority is to get about 100 strength. Got my own opinion Not about because that. he's gonna need it, he needs about 70 strength for the best stuff, at least as far as I can remember. It can't go on like but, this uh, forever. He is a Sir of the Baliar, and his strength must really believe that? will eventually be not the highest of all three parts. But in the early stuff. stages, it will be the highest, especially in Gothic Don't tell 1. Me you didn't know none that. of my other characters had 100 strength. It can't so. go on um, like this forever. That guy did because a sort of the belly are is about, about strength, you know. And as soon as you pick he enters a Gothic 3, he will only need about 150 about strength and about 200 hunting. Where did you pick for that up, then? dual wield swords, but uh, that's for Gothic 3. Ah, fresh face. You're not from Corinus, are you? This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work, and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? The only reason why this guy needs strength is because he needs to be reliant at first on his pure muscle until the point that he's allowed to, allowed to use magic. As a Shishin, you know, that's also the case in Gothic 3. However, the Hashishin will focus fastly on the capabilities of Balear, thus magic, than the other two paths does. Enos does as well, you know, relatively quickly, but Enos's build is more reliant on sword and shield, while the Hashishin only need two one-handed weapons. So no need for shield training, no need for heavy armor late training, you know. But uh, that's all for Gothic 3. I will explain it clearer in um, the first episode of Gothic 3, the part of Beliar. But we're still a long way from that one. I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade. And I have no money to pay for an apprentice. You didn't get that from me. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right, I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? Now, technically speaking, this guy is not really a servant of faith, but in the other terms, he is, because he prays to Balear. So I'm gonna say yes. Yes, a most humble servant, Master Thorben. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adonos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Innos. You should get his blessing too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. What about the blessing of Beliar, eh? Do I need to get that one too? Because that one I have. Not yet. Then I don't know. Wrong one. So, you know a lot about locks. What good is a fine chest without a fine lock? I make my own locks. That way, I can at least be sure I haven't built my chest that sturdy for nothing. A poorly made lock is easy to break. And there are plenty of thieves about in Corinus, especially lately. Now, with this guy, I'm gonna learn lo opening locks at the uh, Thieves Guild. It's gonna cost me 300 gold pieces. With this guy, it's gonna cost 200 unless you give him Lamar's Ledger, then he will do it for free. Um, and uh, you can also get it pretty much free at this guy by giving him Lamar's Ledger. But uh, for that, you need to be able to learn how to pickpocket, and thus, you still need to get access 
to the thieves guild so the best option in my opinion would just to be you know wait till you get to the thieves guild learn picking pockets get high amount of dexterity i think 80 is the maximum requirement get all the keys of the towers open them uh, get their weapons and uh, get his uh, le ledger from Lamar give it to him get him uh, you know to teach him your opening locks get the book back and then give it to Corrigan get the book back and then give it to Hannah because uh, only at Hannah will you not be able to which is the hotel keeper you know you will not be able to repurchase Lamar's ledger so as soon as you give it to Hannah you will not get the book back so if you want to get easy speed which is about 1200 in total um, with heights of power I think I'm not quite sure if it was 400 each without heights of power can't really recall even though I just completed Enos but um, you know that's all fine and dandy so let's continue otherwise I will talk for like an hour or so he never would have thought of that himself. Have you had an apprentice before? Yes, and not too long ago. And what happened? His name is Elvridge. He's my nephew. I was quite pleased with him, actually. But one day he simply didn't show up for work. There's nothing you can do about it. Where is Elvridge now? How would I know? He kept hanging around that filthy brothel by the harbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still warming the bed of some whore down there. How long has it been since you saw him? I guess it must be about two weeks. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. Have you reported that to the militia? Of course I have. They were supposed to catch him and see to it that the Lazy Bones does his work. But I already regret that. He can do whatever he wants. Sooner or later he'll realize he'll get nowhere in Corinnus without a decent job. Is that so? I've come about Gritta. My niece? What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. Tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the moneylender, just to settle her debts. And now this. Gritta should be in the house. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. What do you know about the Paladins? Not much. They arrived by ship two weeks ago from the mainland. Since then, they've withdrawn to the upper end of town. Nobody here really knows exactly why they have come. Many are afraid of an attack by the orcs. I suppose, however, that they are here to quell the farmer's rebellion. Don't say you didn't know that. Do you know anything about the peasant's rebellion? Rumor has it that Onar, the landowner, has hired mercenaries to keep the king's troops from breathing down his neck. He was probably tired of having to throw his harvest along with his livestock at paladins and militia. All we notice of this in town is that the food prices keep rising. Onar's farm lies far to the east of here. We wouldn't know if there's any fighting going on there. And if you want to know more, ask the merchants in the marketplace. They get around the island more than I do. I see. Okay. Hey, you, wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here. We found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. No, you've got to be mistaken. Everything's fine with me. Whatever you say, stranger. But if that happens to be your mug after all, and if you have some problems, keep them outside of this town. Things are difficult enough here as it is. And strangers who bring trouble into the city don't stay here long. I hope I make myself clear. Hey. What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. 
My name is Greta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. Mateo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you, back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. Then we'll simply sell a few of your togs. I'm sure you've still got a bunch of stuff in your closet. How dare you! Uncouth lout! All right, here, take the gold. See, that wasn't so hard. And now will you please leave my house? But the light was a torment for Belia. Hey! Your niece had 100 gold pieces. What? The brazen little serpent. That was my gold. She took it from my chest. Give it back to me. I have to pay off Lamar first. Mateo can get his money later. Where did you pick that up then? No, Mateo will get his money back from me. You're getting me into a real mess that way. Lamar is not terribly generous when it comes to debts. But at least you're planning to pay my niece's debts. I guess I ought to thank you for that. Indeed. I agree with you completely. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. That's been known a long time. Here's your 100 gold pieces. And? Did she cause any problems? None to speak of. Good. You've held up your part of the deal. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry. I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me. Good. Show me your wares. Got some rainbows? No. No apples. Well, that's a shame. Thanks. He never would have thought of that himself. I've heard a thing or two. New in the city, huh? I'm Brian. I'm Master Harriet's apprentice. What's it like to be the Smith's apprentice? Why do you ask? You want to be my successor? Maybe. Why not? I'm almost done with my apprenticeship, and then I'm gonna leave the city. But not because of Harrod. He is a good master. I have learned a lot from him. Why do you want to leave this town? Where did you pick that up then? Because the people here are getting on my nerves above all the other masters. I still remember what a fuss it was getting accepted as an apprentice with Harrod. Really, every one of them jokers had something to say about it. I want to decide for myself who I can or can't take as an apprentice. Who are the other masters? Well, there's Thorpin the Carpenter, Bosper the Bowmaker, Constantino the Alchemist, and Matteo. He sells armor, but first of all, he's a merchant. All the masters have their houses here on the street, and Constantino's shop is in the underpass to the temple. Tell me more about Master Harad. He's not in a very good mood right now. A few days ago, the paladins came and ordered him to forge some swords for them. They've even forbidden him to sell swords to anyone else. Now he slaves day and night to finish the job as quickly as possible. Can I buy weapons from you? Not really. I'm merely an assistant. The weapons that are made in this smithy are collected by the militia and taken to the towers where they're stored. But if it has anything to do with forging, maybe I can help you. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. I don't need steel billets because I'm not going to join Harrod. Wait a minute. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. 
Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city, and then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice, provided the other masters agree. Let's talk again about that orc thing. What? An orc is a damn tough opponent. Hmm, looking at you, you might be right. You don't have much meat on your bones, but that can change. Nevertheless, you have to prove to me that you have the courage to fight. So, couldn't it be something slightly smaller? Hmm. Hakon, the weapons dealer in the marketplace, told me that he was attacked by bandits a few days ago. The bastards are said to be roaming around somewhere outside the East Gate. Those cowardly rogues shouldn't be terribly bright. Hunt the bastards down. Every single one of them. Then I'll know that we can use you here in the city. He simply talks too much. Do you sell weapons too? Forget it. Everything I make goes to the paladins or the militia. I have a commission for 100 swords from Lord Hagen. He wants to equip the city guard. Alright, so let's quickly talk with Thorben, and then I'm gonna go into the direction of Lares. What do you want? I'm not giving anything away! I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you gonna sign up? I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. I'm in need of healing. Why? Are you injured? Yes. There's barely a scratch on you, and I have more important things to do than to talk to you. Oh, that's not very kind. I couldn't get away with that. Let's get myself the spell of oblivion. You've come just in time. I'm in need of an assistant for a magic experiment. I'm sure you're eager to do me a favor for science's sake. Easy, my friend. First tell me what this is all about. I have developed a new spell. A spell of oblivion. I've already successfully carried out a few practical applications, but I don't have time to conduct one final test. What's in it for me if I help you? I could teach you how to brew potions. I know the recipes for healing and mana essences and for potions of great speed. 
Tell me more about the experiment and the spell. The spell serves to make somebody forget various events. So far, I have only found it to work when the person in question is angry, for instance. If he has been knocked down or robbed. Even if he has only witnessed such a deed, he will scratch it from his memory. So I'm supposed to knock somebody down and then put a spell on him? Yes, I think you get the point. But to make somebody angry, it is enough to attack him. You don't have to knock him down. So you should pick somebody who's by himself. If there are other people around, you'll just get into trouble with Lord Andre. Also, it makes no sense to cast the spell on someone who's busy attacking you. Wait for the right moment. Gotcha, my man. All right, I'll try out that spell. Then take this spell scroll and find yourself a suitable guinea pig. Once you're done, come back and tell me how it went. Steal a bit. I know nothing about picking locks. Right, so let's do the Valentino quest. Now, there is one guy locked up in here, uh, what was his name again, I don't know, Joe or something. Let, let me first take care of uh, Mr. Valentino. I'm not gonna take his key because uh, I will be able to pickpocket it. And uh, pickpocketing gives XP, so uh, I'm not gonna take it. 3 XP is always good. Oh man, my head! You could say so. Wait a minute! Leave me alone, you filthy brute! Wait until Lord Andre hears of this! We'll see if he does. Wait a minute. Well, what have we here? Have you no manners? That's disgusting. Oh, is this filthy rabble. Haven't you a job where you ought to be? But I suppose no one would miss a down-at-heel fellow like you, hey? Well, if you had as much gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. I see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. I asked you who you are. I am Valentino the Handsome, bon vivant and ladies' man. Poor in cares, rich in wisdom and gold, and the women throw themselves at me. If you have problems, keep them. I don't need them. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you some manners. Doesn't matter to me. Thrash me all you want. When I get up tomorrow, I'll be fine again. But you'll have to run around with that mug of yours for life. That's all just gossip. Do you have anything else to tell me? Leave me alone. Ever changed? I've got no time for things like that. Hey! Adonis be with you. Who are you? I am Vatrus, a servant of Adonis, the guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? 
Cavalorn sent me to you. And what did he tell you? He said, you're in dire need of more good people. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you want to join us, son? I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? Well, that means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean there must be someone among us who trusts you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you could tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the Paladins. What is this message? That will never change. A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons and determined to conquer the country. Dragons? You speak of beings which until now have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the paladins. The necromancer? So he lives, and he sent you. Who are you really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Carinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that dragons have come to conquer the country. And you have come to report this to the Paladins. That all sounds rather fantastic, but I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water. Tell me about the Ring of Water. Since you are not yet a member of our community, I cannot tell you everything, of course. But I shall tell you what I may. Who are the members of the Ring of Water, then? I cannot tell you that until you join the Ring. But you will certainly have met some of them by that time. Where are the other water mages? They are exploring the ruins of an old culture northeast of Corinus. We suspect that those ruins might contain a passage to a part of the island which is as yet uncharted. Tell me more about that uncharted area. If you're interested in joining the expedition, I could send you to Satyrus with a letter. You can only participate, of course, as long as you're one of us. Of course. I'm staying out of it. What exactly is it that you do? We stand between the Order of Innos and the Chaos of Beliar. If one of the two sides should gain the upper hand, it will mean either total loss of freedom or deadly chaos. Therefore, we guard the balance between the two. That's what makes life in this world possible for all. Now, what he means by that is if, the, if you had Enos as the chosen god and lived under total Enos rule, you will have no freedom whatsoever because of those strict rules, you know. And if you have Beliar as a, um, you know, society god and no rules whatsoever, people would murder, steal, rape, everything, you know, people would do the bad shit to everyone because there is nothing to prevent them from doing so and that is why they created the you know the ranks of the water magician slash adenals who make sure that none of the two gains the upper hand and what does that mean in concrete terms the fall of the barrier has evoked numerous threats the bandits are probably the most obvious one not only has it become all but impossible to travel the island without being attacked, there's someone in town, too, who supports the bandits. We have found out that the bandits receive regular deliveries from a weapons merchant in Corinus. We try to find such people and keep them from endangering the city. If you can find out anything about this, let me know. Will do. Here. I've got a letter for you. For me? Yes, but it's been opened. I hope it didn't fall into the wrong hands. Indeed, this is an important message you are bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. 
I took it from some bandits. By Adonis, that's not good. That's not good at all. If what you say is true, we've got a huge problem. I shall have to take care of it as soon as possible. Now the reason why I got 50 XP is because I opened the letter and the reason why I didn't got XP afterward is because I told him the truth that the bandits had it because the bandits did had it because they knocked Cavalorn down. Um, because as a servant of Melia he might be serving the dark god but he does not do it for mere power. He does it so he can use it to, you know, prevent kind of more bloodshed basically because the undead do not shed blood although they will kill enemies who, that is indeed bloodshed but still you know he doesn't need any companion whatsoever to back him up because he's gonna summon a soulless creature late game that is uh, don't have those capabilities just yet but as soon as he does he will not need companions anymore tell me about the ring of water since you are not but I already had that one about this weapons dealer how much do you know about the weapons dealer ask Martin the provisions master of the paladins about this he should be able to tell you more he has been tasked with unmasking the weapons dealer you can find Martin in the harbor district if you see a heap of crates provision and paladins Martin won't be far Is there anything that could help me with my search? You're a very persistent young man. But I actually can think of something that could make your tasks easier for you. I shall give you this ore amulet. You'll certainly be able to use it. It is an amulet of the searching Will-o'-the-Wisps. There are only very few of them. The Will-o'-the-Wisp that inhabits this amulet has very special properties. It can help you find things that normally elude the naked eye. You summon it by simply wearing the amulet. If it loses its power or you cannot find it, simply put on the amulet again and it will reappear. The Will of the Wisp can detect weapons. It could be very helpful to you in investigating the weapons deliveries to the bandits. Treat it well and it will never fail you. A Will of the Wisp in an amulet? Will-o'-the-wisps are admirable creatures. They consist of pure magical energy. They are bound to the magical ore in this world. It is their origin. It gives them their strength. I'm not surprised that you've never heard of them. They only appear to the person who bears the ore to which they belong. Will-o'-the-wisps living in the wild have been forcefully removed from their sources. They will attack anyone who approaches them. There is no way to help those pitiful creatures. You would better stay away from them. Can the Will of the Wisp do more than that? More than look for close combat weapons? Not unless you teach it. I think Riordian knows how to teach these beings. He is one of us, currently traveling with Satyrus. Perhaps he can tell you more. Perhaps. Thank you. I shall take good care of it. What must I do in order to join the ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means... Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. We can only wait and see. I have vanquished the sleeper. Isn't that a great enough deed? My ears hear many a tale these days, including the story about the banning of the beast called the sleeper. I Crucial. have not heard that this was achieved by a single man, although your eyes tell me that you are convinced you did this. That confuses me slightly, but I cannot be sure that my senses might not deceive me sometimes. Because I did kill the bugger. I have freed many people. The barrier is gone. 
even if you can really claim responsibility for that. The great event in the Valley of Mines has not only set free the water mages and other upright citizens. All the criminals of the entire country are roaming Corinus these days, harassing the population. The bandits have already taken over large areas of land outside the city. It has become all but impossible to leave the town and return unharmed. So what would be an appropriate deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, you shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However... Yes? You should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. Tell me about the Ring of Water. But I sh But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will, no doubt about it, provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. What community should I join? There are only three communities that have enough influence. These are the City Militia, the Monastery of the Fire Magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. Tell me about the gods. What exactly would you like to know? That's the first I've heard of it. Tell me about Beliar. Beliar is the dark god of death, destruction, and all things unnatural. He is an eternal battle with Inos, but Adonos guards the balance between the two. Only a few humans follow the call of Beliar. However, he grants great strength to those who do. I don't believe that. Thank you. Wait! If you see Laris, give him this ornament and tell him that it needs to be returned. He'll know what to do with it. Very well. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, Bunches. you! I don't believe that. I'm asking your blessing. Why should I give you my blessing, stranger? I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the masters in the lower part of town. Go with the blessing of Adonos, my son. Thanks. I've heard a thing or two. Now that's typical, isn't it? All right, so let's go to... Is. Shall I do the paladin ship? Will I be able to do that? We'll see. Because it does have a free strength potion, even though I will not use it yet, so it's kind of pointless. Um, no, no, I will do the paladin ship as soon as I need the strength potion, which is after getting about a hundred strength. I can train it to about two hundred due to heights of power. Three hundred is maxed with heights of power in the vanilla. It is two hundred, but uh, this guy only needs a hundred. Hey. He will eventually try to get more, you know, but uh, he also needs about 120 dex. He will eventually have about 150 strength in total. Um, 120 dex, about 200 mana, preferably that remains to be seen, but... Uh, uh, circle 6, belly arm magic two-handed maxed and crossbow bow and one-handed is optional you know bow and crossbow are insignificant I use the spell scroll fine fine and were you successful yes it worked excellent one small success for science but a big one for me now 
I can use my time to instruct you in the arts of alchemy. I could also give you some useful things if you want. Instruct me in the art of alchemy. To prepare a potion at the alchemist's bench, you need a laboratory flask. And you're going to need different plants or other ingredients for each potion. I'm not going to do that yet because first I need to get my strength to 100 ASAP. Also known as as soon as possible. What are you cooking there? Oh, fish soup. It's not all that tasty, but at least it's hot. You can try a plateful, if you like. What can you tell me about the city? Most citizens in this town are afraid of thieves. Therefore, it's not a good idea to enter strange houses. But if you're looking for a place to stay overnight, you're welcome to sleep in my hut. There is an extra bed that you can have. Aren't you afraid of thieves? The only valuable thing that I ever owned has already been taken. Oh, someone stole my statue of Inos. Now, some people say that this is one of those hidden quests in a Gothic 2, which is um, a yes and no you know to me um the, the yes because if you don't talk with her then yes you don't get the quest but uh if you do talk with her then no it's not a hidden quest and if that is a hidden quest if you don't talk with her and you know you so you don't know that quest then a lot of npcs have hidden quests so my personal opinion this one is not a hidden quest all it requires is talking with her stealing a statue of Enos and deliver it to her you know so it's really not 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 a hidden quest to me personally but some people might see it as one could you cook me some soup I cook for everybody for you too if you want all you need to do is bring me a fish could you cook me some soup? Nothing could be simpler. Here, have a plate. But uh, especially in the gothic game, eh, games basically, all of the NPCs with a regular name, whether it's uh, Hank or uh, you know whatever his name is, if an NPC has a name, it is. It has 9 out of 10 something in significance, you know, whether it's information, whether it's quests, um, NPCs with names always have something. NPCs without names, like the paladins, the knights, um, the, the city guards, the uh, farmers, the, you know, whatever you want to call them, the people with no names whatsoever, you know, no name, insignificance. People with names are most of the time significant to, to the storyline, to quest line, that. you know. So basically, hey, you, you have no business up here. Only paladins and those of us in the militia have access here. Nobody wants so basically, know. always Don't talk with you. any NPC that has a normal name. This is in most games, case Risen, exactly the same, you know. But then again, it's gothic like. Um, Skyrim exactly the same, you know. I couldn't care less. But Skyrim has a lot more NPCs with names, Is it really true? like Nobody smiths with know. names, like, merchant with names, you know. True. But that's different. Changed. It's still important. That's all just they have so information. They have quests. Um, you know, they are important because for certain things. You know. That's not what I so always I talk with NPCs in any game with just a regular name instead of citizen or whatever, you know. You're looking for the man who is selling weapons to the bandits? Says who? Says Vatras. Oh, what do you know about it? Not much, but I could find out more. Ah, 
Is that so? Will it ever change? I used to say that myself. You've known better. What's up here then? This is the provisions store of the Royal Guard of the Paladins. Nobody will learn anything from I am the provisions master here, and I'm responsible for seeing to it that none of the Paladin stuff goes astray, and you're not wanted here. So keep your hands to yourself, or I'll chop them off. He thinks this is easy as not. Can you sell me any of the Paladin stuff? You want to buy? Hmm. Let's say that if you could compensate me for the trouble that will arise from the Paladin's things wandering off, then we might be able to do business. Does that happen often? Things going astray? As long as the Provisions Master says that everything is right, no. I see. Tell me, what do you know about the weapons dealer? Listen, we know that an influential citizen in the upper quarter must be behind it. And some of the weapons are even supposed to have come from the malicious supplies. We still don't know exactly who's behind it. If you have enough goods to take on a group of at least five bandits, maybe you can find out. Now, I'm not quite sure whether it's because of heights of power or because of vanilla gothic. I think it's because of heights of power. This is the only path, basically, where I will first go to the valley, get, you know, the information for, uh, what was his name again? The, uh, merchant that is trading goods with the bandits. It will give me a rune because I'm gonna join the mages. It's the only path that basically where he gives something valuable. In the other two paths he wanted to give me a ring of uh, life. I think, you know, plus 10 life, something like that, which is useless. Just plain useless. So with those I uh, reported him in rather typically quickly. With this one it's gonna take a bit longer because with this path this guy will give me a rune instead of a ring. Which is a better. What about the bandits? We know that the bandits are currently blockading the roads that connect the farmers to the city. Besides that, I know that there must have been a weapons delivery in the last few days. Maybe some clues to uncover the weapons dealer could be found with the bandits. No idea. You tell me. Nobody wants to know. That was obvious all along. Right. So, let's go to Laris, talk with Laris deliver the whole thing etc and then end the first part of uh, the Corinus episode because uh, this area is relatively large and to do all the areas it's going to require a bit more time you know I've heard a thing or two. I must be crazy what are you doing here have we met before man don't you remember me I used to hang around in the new camp, the list for the mine. Man, we had a lot of fun. Do you remember Lee? Lee? You've been through a lot, huh? Lee was leader of the mercenaries in the new camp. I got out of the colony with him then, just after the barrier was destroyed. He and his boys are now on the farm of Onar, the landowner. He made a deal with the farmer. He and his boys defend the farm, and Onar feeds them in return. Vatra sent me. He told me to come to you when I needed help. So you've already been to see Vatras? You must have made a lasting impression on him. Otherwise, he certainly wouldn't have volunteered my name. Especially not since the matter with those missing people still hasn't been resolved. Tell me what you need. That's nothing new. Vatras gave me this ornament to bring to you. He said it is to be taken back. Of course. It's up to me, as usual. I might have known. I'll have to walk halfway across the island to take it back to the water mages. That's exactly what I said. I can take the ornament there for you. Hmm. I think I had better take it there myself. But you could come with me. Only, I can't leave here at the moment. I need to keep an eye on the harbor. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I can't talk about that. Vatras would have my head. I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? I need some money. Don't we all? Sorry, but I have none to give you. But Lamar, the moneylender, still owes me a favor. Go to him and borrow whatever money you need. I'll take care of the rest. You'll find Lamar in the harbor district, where it borders on the lower part of town. 
about those missing people. Tell me what you know. The first was William, one of the fishermen here in Corinus. One day, he simply didn't return. At first, we thought that one of those sea monsters out there had eaten him in his boat for breakfast. But not too long afterwards, other people started disappearing from the town and the surroundings. Pretty random events, though. Everyone's at a loss so far. The way it looks, we'll just have to wait until we finally stumble across a clue. Isn't this a case for the militia? The militia is pretty useless, if you ask me. They're never going to clear this up. The missing people have just vanished into thin air. I must talk to the paladins, by any means. That's not what do you want from them? They've got a powerful amulet, the Eye of Innos. I must have it. And you think they'll give it to you? That. You'll never get into the upper end of town. Who says things like that? Do you know why the paladins are here? Nobody knows for sure. Lots of people think it's because of the orcs, but I think there's another reason. It probably has something to do with the old penal colony. Everybody knows by now. Amen, you're right, my friend. It's indeed about the penal colony of Corinus. Vatras said you could help me join a community. <laughs> Getting tired of being the underdog, are you? All right, I see your point. I can exert my influence with the mercenaries if you want to join Lee. And I'm sure we can find a way to get you into the monastery soon. But the easiest thing would certainly be for you to join the militia. Which community do you prefer? The Fire Magicians. <laughs> I bet Vatris didn't foresee that, or he wouldn't have sent you to me. Joining the monastery is expensive. Those boys won't even let you in unless you pay them a tribute. And the only one who could do anything about that is Vatris himself. You had better talk to him again about this. All right, we'll do. So what's your business with Vatras? I've got this little agreement with the water mages, you see. What kind of an agreement? We work for them, and they see to it that our past in the penal colony doesn't get us into trouble. You're talking about the Ring of Water? You've heard of it? Vatras told me about it. You might have mentioned that right away. Everybody knows by now. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I'm doing what we all do. I fulfill the tasks the water mages give me. Some of the missing people were fishermen. They disappeared along with their boats. That's why I'm standing here, watching the harbor. Maybe something will happen yet. But you could help me. Listen, I shall give you my aquamarine ring. It signifies that the bearer belongs to the ring of water. If you wear my ring, the rest of us will know that you're acting on my behalf. Get someone to take over my duties so that I can take the ornament back. One of us is always keeping an eye on the marketplace, but I don't know whose turn it is. You had better go talk to all those standing around there. Once the right man sees my aquamarine ring on you, he will let you know. Tell him to see to it that somebody else takes over here at the harbor. It's a bad business. Will do, man. Tell me more about Lee and his mercenaries. What do you want to know? You don't say. How do I find the landowner's farm? It's quite simple. You leave the seaport by the east gate and then follow the path towards the east. I can take you there if you want. He had better shut. Tell me more about the mercenaries. Well, if you're as tough as you were back then, you shouldn't have any problems with them. Most of them are ruffians, and if you can't stand up to them, you won't get far. <laughs> if you're squeamish, you don't have a chance of joining them. Why aren't you with Lee and his mercenaries? But I am, just not on the farm. You could say I'm our outpost in the city. We don't want the ship to sail without us. Who says things like that? What ship were you talking about? It's on the open sea harbor, behind the cliffs. Lee and a few of his people really want to get away from here. But that could take a while. Why? You'd better ask Lee about that. If you meet him, he's got plans. And it's going to get even worse. It's not what I heard. I won't tell her a thing from now on. 
Nothing's ever going to change that. Okay, um... It's a bad business. Can you teach me something? Sure. I can help you become stronger and more dexterous if you like. But no. Train my strength. Teach me something. Do you really think? I don't believe that. You hardly know who to believe these days. That's an open secret. Nothing's ever going to change that. Really? How interesting. Come back once you have more experience. Do the work. I don't want to hear Good. Your really? strength has increased. He never would have thought of that himself. Really? Good indeed. Do you really think? He simply talks too much. Will it ever change? Mom, um, shall I end the episode here? Go away. Don't talk that. Uh, let me play a bit further. Why not? That's terrible. Hey, I don't know you. It's an open secret. What do you want here? Are you headed for the tavern? Everybody knows by now. I will go uh, to, you know, Lord Hit Andre, and uh, then I will really stop the episode. Someone's got to do the work. Yes. Do you mind? You've got no business here, Rut. It's not what I heard. Don't tell this. Calm down. All I want to do is drink a beer. Okay, but it'll cost you 50 gold pieces to get in. He'd better shut up. All right, I'll pay. Great. And since this went so well, now you can give me the rest of what you got on you. I won't tell her a thing from now on. That was obvious all along. Okay, this is all I have. All right, that's enough then. He had better Ever generous, that's me. I never knew that. Oh, you won't see it coming. Just ah. shoot. If I hadn't seen it with ah, show him. Never change. And he works all Hit the him. Ah. Show ah. him. Give it your all. Ah. Ah. Not bad. Really? How interesting. Did you really think I would let you keep my 700 gold pieces, eh? Right? And it's gonna get even worse. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every piece of information I give you will cost ten gold pieces. Alright, agreed. You struck a good bargain. I'm always at your service. I need information. Who counts among the influential citizens in this town? You won't find anyone down here at the harbor. The only powerful man here is Lamar. The moneylender is not very popular, but he has gold, and other influential citizens owe him money. The merchants and craftsmen also have a lot of influence. Too much, if you ask me. Who's in debt to Lamar? <laughs> if you want to know that, you should take a look in his ledger. Only it might be pretty difficult to do that without him noticing. As far as I know, he always carries it with him. Where can I find work? You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. You need to go to the craftsmen in the lower part of town for that. But if you wield a decent blade, you could go challenge Ulrich. He fights for gold behind the warehouse. What do you know about the missing citizens? All I know is that some people have vanished during the last few days. It's especially bad down here at the harbor, they say. Maybe you should ask around here a bit. There were some cases in the lower part of the city, too. If you want to know more, you should talk to Corrigan. He has his tavern in the lower part of town, and he's likely to hear a thing or two. Halvor, the fish merchant down by the quay, might know something, too. Many people frequent him. Who can teach me something here? There are a few competent people here in the Harbor District. Carl the blacksmith is a sturdy fellow. I bet he can show you how to get stronger. Alric knows a lot about fighting, and Laris is a cunning rogue. He's down here at the Harbor sometimes as well. And if you're crazy enough to go see old Ignaz, he knows all about Al Almich potions. Where can I find all these people? Oh. Boy, the king will have won his war against the orcs before I've done explaining that to you. Just look around the harbor district and you're bound to find them. And if you don't know your way about, go to Braham and buy yourself a map. He's easy to find.
His hut is right next to my tavern. I should have tried double for that one. Is there any special work to be had around here where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Hmm. Go talk to Nagur then. Maybe he can help you. Got anything special for me to do? I've got something for you, but that should only interest you if you're a man of versatile talents. What have you got? Well, Zorus, the potion vendor in the marketplace, currently has a guest, Darren, the fire magician. And? He had a new chest made specially for him by Thorben the carpenter. They say that this Darren has bought a bunch of valuable stuff with him, but you didn't hear that from me, understand? Understood, my friend. Now, as a servant of Belial, I will not throw any of these guys into jail because I'm gonna cooperate with the Thieves Guild. Hey, you! Cardiff says you may have a job for me. Well, well. So you're looking for a special job. Okay. But we play by my rules, understood? What does that mean? That means you do what I say and you get a third of the profits. If you don't like it, then there's no job. We're business partners, so it's 50-50. Okay. I thought I'd give it a shot. Of course, we'll split our profits fairly. All right, what's your plan? You know the merchant Baltram, don't you? If not, it's time you talk to him. This Baltram has a messenger who supplies him with goods from Akil's farm. That is, he had a messenger. Until I cut his throat. And now Baltram has to get a new one. And that will be you. Your job is to get hired by Baltram and fetch the delivery from Akil. You bring it to me, and then I'll set it on to an interested customer. He'll fork over a tidy little sum for it. And just don't try selling the stuff yourself. Have you got all that? How much will the profit be? I can't say exactly, but I estimate around 400 gold pieces. Where is Akil's farm? Leave the city by the east gate. That's directly on the marketplace. If you follow the road to the right, you'll soon come to a few steps cut into the rock. Go up there and you'll come to Akil's farm. When should I talk to Baltram? You can go right away. He should know by now that his messenger won't be showing up anymore. <laughs> Where can I find Baltram? He has his stall in the marketplace. Well then, I'm all set. Good. Then get on your way. But if you try to cheat me, You'll soon be every bit as dead as the messenger. Don't forget. Like I'm afraid, my man. I'm not afraid. Hey, Mo. Really? How all right, all right, you win. What do you want? And it's going to get even worse. You know your way about the harbor, don't you? Sure thing. Why? What kind of rumors are floating about? Around here. Don't we don't like anyone. people who ask too many questions, especially off. not if they're strangers. I don't want to do that. These are bad times. Why don't I see any militia? Don't they don't dare that. come in hey, here. How interesting. We take care of things ourselves. That's not what my husband thinks. How's the shipping traffic? The only ship that's come here recently is the Paladin ship. It's over there behind the rocky ridge to the southwest. Go away, don't tell me that. Who says things like that? But no, he insisted he needed oh, don't tell me that. You look a little worse for wear. Haven't slept in a long time, have you? Too long, I should say. Come on, step closer. With me, you'll find what you're looking for. Show me your wares. You better shut up. You said that you've got what I need. Does that include information? But of course. What is it you want to know? Are there any other traders here at the harbor? If you keep to the left at the quay, you'll find Helvor, my husband. He sells fish. 
On the other side, there's Brahim, the cartographer. Do you know anyone from the upper quarter? <laughs> if I knew anyone up there, I wouldn't be standing here, my boy. What interesting things are there to see around the harbor? Well, if you're looking for some action, you can go down to Cardiff's Inn at the Quay. There's always something brewing there. You can hardly miss it. The guy standing by the entrance there will certainly draw your attention to it. Besides that, there's the large ship of the Paladins, the King's Stately War Galley. That one's really worth seeing. You'll find it if you keep left at the quay and then pass under the high rock face. Has anything exciting happened lately? You could say so. It wasn't that long ago. A thief ran by here. He must have stolen a bow in the lower part of the city. Of course, the militia came here way too late, like always. He got away from them, just jumped into the harbor, and he was gone. Oh, I see. Well, thanks for the information. Let's uh, go to Raymar. How's it going? How much do you want? What do you mean, how much? I'm the money lender, and you came to me. What could you want from me? Money, of course. Well, lend me some money. Sure. How much would you like? I charge 20%. All right, if you th ask for 1,000, you will only get 100. If you ask for 50, you will get 50. And if you ask for 200, you will get 200. Um, normally, as a servant of Belial, I would do 1,000. But I think I did that one with the Paladin, which is the servant of Enos. But I'm not entirely sure. Uh, did I? I, I'm not quite. I will just pick the two thousand. I get a hundred, but that's fine. One thousand gold coins. You got a couple of screws loose or something? I'll give you a hundred. And don't forget, I want it back tomorrow. You always throw your money at people like that? Don't worry. You'll be back. Otherwise, I'll find you and kill you. It's that simple. You've got such a distinctive mug that it wouldn't take long for me to find you. So don't even think about playing around with me. Well, if you want to lose all your money, I would say try to kill me then, you bugger. Hey, you! No, not you. What do you want? I wanted to have a look around here. Then where exactly are you headed? What interesting things are there to see here? There's a, a cat house here in a tavern. The landlord's name is Cardiff. If it's information you want, he'll be the right person to talk to. Do you, uh, need money, by the way? Are you giving it away? No, but right across the street here is the uh, house of Lamar, the money lender. Well, I'm sure he'll give you a few gold pieces. Just go ahead. Do you work for Lamar? Hmm, smart kid. Actually, I was on my way to the upper quarter. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was about to board a ship and have it take me to the king for an audience. People like you and me haven't been allowed in the upper quarter since the paladins came. Are you a citizen of this town? If you mean do I live here, yeah. But still they won't let me into the upper quarter. Mm, only the Toths can get in there are the merchants and craftsmen from the lower end of town. The people from the harbor district don't carry much weight in Corinth. There isn't even a regular militia patrol down here. Because of corruption, my friend. Corruption is everywhere. Has anything exciting happened lately? Not long ago, the city guards turned the entire harbor district upside down. They were searching for stolen property. <laughs> there have been plenty of thefts here lately, especially in the better quarters. They're obviously trying to blame the poor suckers at the harbor for everything. Probably. All right, so let's talk quickly with this uh, little guy over here with the hammering. 
Boy, that lunatic's hammering is wearing me down. Who are you talking about? Can't you hear that hammering? Who do you think hammers all day long at the Harbor District? I mean that lunatic felon. He takes the hammer to his hut every day. I could take care of felon. You want to help me? What's in it for you? You tell me. Oh, that's how it is. All right, if you can get him to stop hammering, I'll pay you 25 gold pieces. But I'll tell you one thing right now. You can't talk to the guy. He's nuts. The only thing that will help is a few decent punches. If I beat him up, I'll just get into trouble with the militia. Down here at the harbor, no one pays much attention to brawls. But if you steal around here or mess with the sheep, you'll be in trouble. I'll see what I can do. You can think about it. Remember, I'll pay you 25 gold coins. Let's kick this guy's arse. Ah, a fight. Show him! Give it your all. Show him! Show him! Leaving so well. Don't you try that again. Wait a minute. Okay, so you beat me. Some heroic deed that was. Will you stop hammering now, or do I have to thrash you again? No, don't hit me anymore. I'll stop. But if everything collapses around here, it'll be your fault. Good. Saves me all the talking. Felon will hammer no longer. Hear that? No more hammering. At last, I thought the fellow would never quit. You've done me a huge favor. You know what? I'll give you 30 gold pieces. You're welcome, man. All right, so let's talk with this guy over here. Uh, there are no spectators, so I can't challenge him yet. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is my home. But if you mean, what do I do all day? I arrange fights. You arrange fights? Every day, from noon until evening. And right here, behind the warehouse in the Harbor District. Home sweet home. You live behind the warehouse? It's only temporary. When you have as much gold as I do, you can afford a little luxury. I was a drill instructor in the army, but I left that bunch to seek my fortune in adventure. Now I've wound up in this shithole. My last 100 gold pieces went to the guards at the city gate. So, I'm seeing to it that I come into money again. I even had to sell my sword. To whom did you sell the sword? I swapped it with a trader in the marketplace for some stuff. The guy's called Jora. The torches and the bit of meat that he gave me are long used up. He isn't likely to give me the sword for nothing. It's an old sword. He won't want much for it. Just think of the money as an extra stake for the fight. What are the rules for the fight? Quite simple. All regular weapons are allowed. No bows or crossbows and no magic. We fight until one of us drops. And as soon as one of us is flat on his back, it's over. Got it? Whoever leaves the <laughs> ring is out. So if you quit, I win. The stake is 50 gold coins. If you win, you get 100 back. If not, well, then your money is down the drain. Got it? Yep. What do you know about the war against the orcs? There's not much to tell. The war has been going on for too long. The country people are starving. Everywhere there are peasant revolts that are put down mercilessly by the king. But there's just too many of them. 
If the war doesn't end soon, the realm will fall apart. Can you train me? If you really want to learn how to fight, then go up against me. <laughs> the lesson is no extra charge. I want to fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Just a second. Take your time. Here I'm starting now. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hage, the security measures for the guards on the gate are ordered to interpret the law and the strict. Ah! Atta boy! Ah! Atta boy! Ah! Yeah, that's the ticket. Oh! Atta boy! Ah! What you waiting for? Ah! Atta boy! And now for the f Atta boy! Don't stop now! Not bad at all. Want me to kick your guy's ass too, huh? Huh? What do I have to do to proclaim myself as a champion? What a piece? No? Ah, bad. my head. Oh, man. You pack quite a punch. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You've earned them. And one more thing. No one talks about what goes on behind the warehouse. The militia puts everyone who does the slightest thing here behind bars. And those boys don't like to see betting on fights. Can you train me? I keep my word. I'll teach you everything I know, provided you have the necessary experience. If I remember correctly, he's a one-hander. Train me as a sword fighter. See? Well, I'm going for two-handed first, because this guy will eventually wear a Hear staff. ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree... Nearly at the end of the episode, guys. Nearly. Let me uh, quickly go to William, and uh, that's where I will end the, the video because I extended it a bit too long. Wanted to go to Lord Andre, but uh, I talked to, to with a bit too much people. But uh, that's fine. Hey, do you need fish? Get your fish here, fresh from the depths of the sea. Can you tell me something about those missing people? Missing people? Is really true? This is a harbor, pal. Things like that are bound to happen. The sea is treacherous and bound to claim a life now and then. Captains of large vessels will always sign on new sailors in a large seaport such as Corinus to complete their crews. And if they don't find any volunteers, some people may get dragged off against their will. And then they're gone. Tell me that isn't true. Are you missing someone? Me? No. Do you know of anyone who's gone missing? No idea. Ask the shipbuilders. It's a bad business. What ship would that have been? Good question. Not many ships have come into Corinus lately. Is it really That's true. You can't rely on that. Right, so let's quickly go to our good friend. Uh, what was his name? Nobody wants to know. Not William. I don't know what his name was. Faring. I don't know. But uh, he's a fisherman. You're a fisherman? Now how did you ever guess that? Can't you simply leave me alone? Don't take it personally, but I haven't been too happy lately. It's that militia. 
So, how are the fish biting? I've seen better times. Too little to live on, too much to die. Can you tell me something about the missing people? My friend William started hanging out with a bunch of shady characters. And where did it get him? One day, he simply didn't show up for work. And that's the last we saw of him. Trouble with the militia? Those bastards keep coming here and taking whatever they want. Last week, they made off with my entire catch. It's for a good cause, they said. I know that everybody's got to fend for himself since the farmers have stopped trading. And, of course, sometimes people just go hungry. Small wonder that they're snatching the fish from right under my nose. But if they keep doing this, I won't even have enough to feed myself. Have you talked to the paladins about this? <laughs> Are you joking? Do you really think they'd be interested if a poor devil like me has his problems with the militia? Maybe I can help you. I don't know. I suppose you'd have to know somebody from the militia who has connections to the paladins. The paladins will hardly buy the fish from me. I shall see what I can do. If they are running out of food supplies, they will buy your fish gladly. Your buddy William has disappeared? So he has. He's a fisherman, but a little too big for his boots, I should add. He should have stayed well away from that bunch. When did you last see him? Only a few days ago. Maybe he just went out to sea to fish. That's not very likely. His boat is still moored in the harbor. What's he been up to? William had some shady dealings with those crooks. I think it was all about contraband that he sold to the bastards. What bastards would those be? I don't know who they are or what their business is here in Corinus. I only know the place where they met up with William. I just happened to see William there when I was fishing in the bay. Where exactly is that meeting place? There's a bay opposite the harbor, north of here. You can only reach it by boat or swim. There's a beach there and a small fishing camp. That's where I saw them. I think I've heard enough. Spare yourself the effort. I don't believe you'll find him. I'll find him. Dead, but I will find him. Alright, so let me quickly do his quest and uh, then end the episode. Hey, you! Tharim the fisherman has problems with the militia. The boys are constantly stealing from him. And what do I have to do with it? You have a certain amount of influence up here with the paladins. Farum needs your protection. He's willing to give you a part of his catch for it. I see what you mean. Fish. As if I didn't have enough crap to deal with. Tell your pal he should come to me and tell me exactly what's up with the militia. I'll take care of it. So let's deliver the good news to Farim, and uh, that was on for the first part, that is. We're not done yet in uh, Corinus. Hey! I know how to resolve your trouble with the militia. And how would that be? Martin, the provisions master of the Paladins, wants to hear your story about the militia and the fish. And you think he can make the militia leave me alone? At least, that's what he said. Great, thank you. I cannot give you much, but wait. I found this strange blue stone on one of the islands off the coast of Corinus. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but someone like you will certainly find a use for it. Indeed, and I will.
but anyways guys I want to thank you guys for watching if you like what you see a thumbs it up and if you didn't like what you see feel free to thumbs it down but uh, this is basically the end of the episode I'm gonna fry a bit of meat and uh, shut down you know prepare for part 2 of Corinne but uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next part of the Corinne's quests and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you do subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, you know thumbs it up if you want to see a hardcore run or a uh, if you want to check out the playthrough of Ananos or Enos they are also available on my YouTube channel so if you want to check them out feel free to go to my YouTube channel and check out the playlist what with and uh, I hope to see you guys in part 2 of the quests of the city of Corinus. I think it's gonna be taking about three parts and then we will be able to go to the landowners fields and uh, get ourselves a sheep to join the um, to join the monastery of the magicians of fire because I will still try to you know get the donations basically um, which is a thousand gold pieces and a sheep but I will get access for free but then I could still deliver the sheep you know at least as far as I know so but anyways guys I want to thank you guys again for watching and I hope to see you guys in part 2 of my Corinna's playthrough questing on the path of Barrier so yeah see you guys next time